The Volkswagen Golf is in the market for 45 years now and it's been sold more than 35 million times. And now Volkswagen is presenting the new Golf, the 8th generation. And this car not only should be the most efficient one, it should not only be the most safety one, it also should be the most intelligent one. And now I will have a closer look what is really new with the new Golf. With 4 meters 28 in length and 1 meter 79 width, the exterior dimensions of the Golf 8 are at the level of its predecessor. Also, with regards to the wheelbase with now 2 meters 64 and the height of now 1 meter 46, not much has happened. But what is more important, the new Golf is immediately recognizable as a Golf. Especially in the side view, you can still find the typical Golf proportions and the characteristic Golf C pillar. The interior of the new Golf is really a lot more modern than with the predecessor. So when you look in the, into the cockpit, as standard, you do find a 10.25 inch full digital cockpit. And this gives you the opportunity to configure it the way you want. So you not only find, for instance, the full map here, you also find, if you want, on the right and on the left hand side, extra information. And the good thing is, you can choose what information you want to see on which side and if you say ah, I want the full map you just press the view button a bit more longer and then these extra informations are completely gone and as you see you have of course different modes which you can use as yeah as we already know it from the um, predecessors digital cockpit another highlight is the infotainment as standard it comes with a 8.25 inch screen but you can have this one here it's a 10 inch screen and the good thing is you can completely configure it the way you want. So you just, just touch and move like you may know it already from your mobile phone. So that's really quite easy and um, very nice to use. So you can really configure it the way you want. On top of this, you do find information like uh, the map with extras here. You can swipe so you can really do it. Maybe you already know it from the Touareg. Uh, you can really configure that the way you want as well. So that really gives you the opportunity to have the car you prefer to drive. On top we do find a touch bar down here. One, you, once you will find here the opportunity to set the temperature inside of the car because it comes as standard with a climate control, you can also do this while swiping. And in the middle you find another one which gives you the opportunity to um, use or work with the cart here and to work with the noise of the infotainment. At the front, the new drawn headlights are immediately noticeable. The optional IQ Light LED Matrix headlamps with their 22 LEDs each illuminating the road always perfect, depending on the driving situation. For this purpose, signals from the front camera, data from the navigation system as well as the steering angle and the current speed are analyzed. In addition, the front of the new Golf looks much wider. One reason for this is the now much wider lower air intake. The Auch tail lights now are sind ab always come with LED, LED technology. technology ausgeführt. In addition, the top version of the tail lights are offering a switching LED signature, the so-called click-clack effect when braking. Also on board then is the dynamic indicator with a wiping effect. Quite new into the Golf is you will not find any buttons or switches because either the light control here to the left hand side or the um, control down here where you can for instance choose the drive mode is completely touch so this is more a sensor car than anything else and another thing very important with the golf is you of course can charge your mobile without using a wire but, but the new thing is you can also use apple carplay without a wire so that means usb is not longer existing if you don't want Already the base of the Golf 8 offers an active lane assist and the monitoring system front assist. These includes for instance the city emergency brake function, pedestrian and cyclist recognition, emergency steer assist and a new turning assistant. Optionally the Golf becomes even more comfortable and safe. With the IQ drive system, for instance, the predictive cruise control, the traffic jam assistant and an exit assistant have now arrived. Another new thing here in the car is the new voice control system, which gives you the opportunity to just say hello Volkswagen and the car will instantly ask you what you want to do. So you can just talk to it like maybe it's too hot so it will turn down the temperature or maybe you are hungry so it will change your route and give you the opportunity to stop at a restaurant. 
The new Golf comes with six different powertrains and they deliver a power range between 66 up to 180 kilowatts. Important is most of them are available with a DSG, except the smallest engine, this is a manual one. And then nearly all of them are available as a mild hybrid system, but not the new TGI, which is a 1.5 liter natural gas engine that delivers 96 kilowatt. And the other exception is the new plug-in hybrid, which is, a, which is a 1.4 liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor, and that delivers either 150 or 180 kilowatts. The 180 version, by the way, is the new Golf GTE. That was my first look at the new Volkswagen Golf 8. And it changed a bit from the exterior, but it's still a real Golf at first glance. And then when you look what Volkswagen put into the car regarding to infotainment, security, driver assistance, safety systems, and of course engines, I'm not quite sure if that is too much for a compact car, but I think I'm gonna find out when I drive the car quite soon.